Divine One, we have been getting reports lately of a strange presence coming from this well. I have not been able to find anything unusual about it, but perhaps you should investigate. Faced one way, a thousand years' separation. The other way, a hundred years' regret. Pray, dream of my sorrow. Pray, dispel the darkness from this world. The only light here is in memory, and the hope you instilled flickers. Alas. I know the truth. In this world, there is no salvation. In this world, there is no you. Where am I? This isn't the Somniel. Who are you? I am... no. It is no matter. My name lost its meaning long ago. But I have this strange feeling. As if the two of us have met somewhere. We have never met before. Not in any way you would understand. I'm speaking to you from across a mirror. You are my reflection. And my land's last hope. Please. I need your assistance. Will you save those who are important to me? Of course. I'll help however I can. Really? You accept my plea without hearing what it entails? <laughs> I suppose I feel like helping you might ease some of my own anxieties. Almost as if this is a chance to get back... something that I lost a long time ago. In short, yes, I'm here for you. I'm glad to hear you say so. I was afraid you would refuse, since I'm unable to explain all the details. Suffice to say that the land I speak of is threatened by a foe with a wicked heart. The only hope for my people is for you to collect the seven bracelets. Bracelets? In my world, emblems dwell inside bracelets. You will need them in order to succeed. Now, I will transport you there. Those you encounter after arriving will guide you. Will you and I meet again? We will not. Nor have we ever met. Not even in this very moment. You speak so cryptically. Still, I get the feeling I will see you again. Be off now. I thank you, and wish you good fortune in the battles ahead. Goodbye, my fellow Divine Dragon. My twin from another world. On your journey, I hope you feel joy, suffering, sorrow, and love. Because I will feel nothing anymore. I will never awaken again. Ugh. So bright. Sister, it worked! Our prayers are answered! After all these long years, at last our savior has come. <clears throat> you... Is that... Where am I? You are in Lethos Castle. We have long awaited your arrival. Thank you for answering our prayers. I am Nell, one of the dragons who resides here. And I am Nell, her twin brother. It's nice to meet you, Nell. And you, Nell. I'm the Divine Dragon. <sighs> so you are the Divine Dragon. Fate has made a cruel and mysterious choice. <clears throat> it is such a joy to see you reborn. Reborn? What does that... The Divine Dragon is deceased. You fell in the last war. 
Our world has been consumed by darkness in the time since. We have long prayed for a savior to aid us, and your appearance seems to be our answer. It is unfortunate. I would have preferred never to see you again. Now? But we are in desperate need of aid, and we do not have the luxury of choice. I will speak no more of it. Please follow me. I'm so sorry, Divine One. She is rather more upset by this than I would have expected. She and the Divine Dragon have a somewhat complicated history. This is the Bracelet Vault. Here, our emblem bracelets are kept secure. I see. Upon that pedestal lies the bracelet of the Shepherd Exalt. It is the sole bracelet in our possession. The emblems within it are safely in slumber. There are seven bracelets in total. We lost the other six in the war with Sombron. So, he exists in your world as well. I will explain from the beginning. The first dragons were born millennia ago, and from them came the divine and fell dragons. For a time, there was peace until the fell dragons turned to conquest and destruction. With the world under threat, the divine dragons and the people prayed for salvation. And that salvation came in the form of beings from other worlds known as emblems. The emblems were manifestations of those ardent prayers for peace. My sister and I were performing that ancient rite when you arrived. We thought a new emblem would appear to save us. And you got me. Yes, it was quite the shock. I'm still a bit beside myself. The emblems brought an end to the fighting, but only temporarily. A thousand years ago, Sombron sought to exploit the emblems for his own ambitions. We experienced that war firsthand. It was awful. The entire continent became a battlefield. The dragons and the royal families fought over the emblems until all sides were exhausted. But as we stood upon the brink of annihilation, the divine dragons won a key victory. Lumera, the Divine Dragon Monarch, imprisoned Fell Dragon Sombron at the cost of her life. My mother died a thousand years ago? Her sacrifice bestowed peace upon the people even as they mourned her passing. But it was her successor who healed the wounded land and returned it to prosperity. Her successor? You mean the next Divine Dragon Monarch? Yes. You. <laughs> the Divine Dragon Monarch after Lumera? was her own begotten child. So I took the throne after she died. This is so different from the history of my world. <laughs> you are a wonderful ruler. Under your reign, it seems like the world would be at peace for the rest of time. But it was not to be. Sombron eventually returned, and another war began. Whosoever gathers all seven of the awakened emblems will be granted immense power. Sombron intended to use that power to exact revenge and restore the Fell Dragon's honor. To achieve that end, he was willing to set the whole world ablaze. And I take it I lost this war. No, not exactly. You and Sombron each slew the other. On the night of the decisive clash, you and he perished at the same moment. So the Fell Dragon is already gone? Then who is it that's putting your world in danger now? An unknown malefactor is attempting to fulfill the late Sombron's ambitions. They come and go without a trace. We know nothing of their whereabouts or appearance. All we know for sure is that, like Sombron, this individual wants to collect the seven bracelets. In fact, we believe they already have two. One in Lethos Castle, two in enemy hands. Where are the other four? Each of the four nations of Elios possesses one. They once fought under a single banner, but that changed drastically after your death. Now, with nothing to unite them, the little ones, the humans, bicker among themselves. Thus far, they have kept one another in check, but war could break out at any moment. I don't know if the Divine Dragon's army was ever truly united. I saw them argue in this very castle about which nation was to blame for your death. Which is absurd, of course. It was no one's fault. Now that our savior has arrived, 
It is imperative we reclaim the bracelets. The conflict we have avoided for years will soon be inevitable. You may need to cross blades with people who resemble your own friends and allies. I understand. I'll brace myself for that possibility. So, you're both divine dragons, like me? What gave you that impression? You said you were dragons, and you live in Lethos Castle, so I just assumed. Your assumption is incorrect. Uh, what she means, Divine One, is that we... Watch out! Assassins! No! She's a fell dragon! My brother and I both. In this world, fell dragons are born as twins. We severed ties with our father during the last war. We now fight against our misguided kin. I cannot transform, but that does not stop me from fighting at Nell's side. Fell dragon twins. I suppose I simply assumed that you would already know what we were. It seems I was mistaken. If you will not aid us, you may leave. We will defend this world ourselves. No, I'll fight with you. I don't care about your heritage. If you truly want to protect this world, I'll be your ally. Ah, oh, that's a relief. Now, let us march into battle together, just like the good old days. Show us your medal, Divine One. We shall see if you are truly the answer to our prayers. Sigurd! Leave it to me! Sigurd! We go together! Micaiah! Here I go! Ike! Leave it to me! The enemy has most likely come for the Bracelet of the Shepherd Exalt. We must stop them here, before they can reach its location. <laughs> I can fight. Huh. 
dream well. Let us be off. Tell me where. Speak, Divine One. You have my attention. Cute, right? But watch out. Those fangs will really leave a mark. I am no failure! So your tale ends. <laughs> Observe your ruin! <sighs> You can lift the Fang's curse with my Restore Staff. Give it to someone who can use it. You were beautiful while you lasted. I will do my best. My emblem's power protecting it. <laughs> 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 
my apologies. Victory. Hand over the bracelet. Away. I was hoping we would finally learn their identity. At least we got back the bracelet they were carrying. That's... The bracelet of the Ancestor. It seems... different since we last laid eyes on it. Hmm. Maybe this emblem can tell us about their time in enemy hands. I'll summon them again so we can talk. Huh? That's strange. What? The invocation isn't coming to me. Perhaps it's because I'm in a new world? But that's no good. Summoning emblems is what a divine dragon... does. Divine dragon? I'm Tiki. Are you a divine dragon like me? Well... Impossible! Emblems in this state shouldn't be able to speak. Hello, Emblem Tiki. I might be able to summon you again, but your invocation isn't coming to me. Do you know it? I don't know anything about an invocation. <sighs> My head feels fuzzy. 
It hurts. Please, don't make me fight anymore. I don't like hurting people. You need not act against your will. Allow me to return you to peaceful slumber. You can do that? I can indeed. But I am unfamiliar with this summoning power of which you speak. The divine dragon of this world was able to cleanse fallen emblems. It would seem that you cannot do the same. So I will send Emblem Tiki to rest. In slumber, she will be safe from those who would exploit her power. No longer will she be compelled to fight. You might say we are containing her power in the bracelet. Sadly, since we lack the ability to awaken emblems, she cannot aid us any further. It sounds like our only option right now. Please, go ahead. Whatever benefits there might be to keeping her awake, I won't force her to fight. Tiki, I hope we'll meet again someday. I'd like that. When we do, let's play together lots, okay? Absolutely. Farewell, Emblem Tiki. Sweet dreams. <sighs> night, night. Now, so long as we keep her away from the enemy, she will be able to rest. Thank you, Nell. We place our emblems into slumber as a matter of course, to prevent their exploitation. Emblem Tiki was thus asleep when she was taken, but she returned to us awake. Our foe must therefore possess the power to awaken emblems. Only divine and fell dragons can control them in that way. There are no divine dragons left in this world, so that means our enemy is a fell dragon. One of our siblings, in other words. If it's a sibling of yours, then do you have any idea who it could be? We have many brothers and sisters, but we're not acquainted with all of them. Many died in the most recent war. There is no telling which of them survived. The power to control emblems is rare. If we knew the culprit, we would surely recall. Perhaps this child was born after we left Sombron, or developed this power late. Dragon powers are unpredictable. I cannot transform myself or control emblems at all. Sombron deemed me a failure. If I had stayed with him, I would probably be dead by now. How awful. I managed to survive only because Nell took me with her when she left. It angers me to think that our siblings could be behind this. To be given that kind of power only to use it for evil. What a waste. Nell. Uh, uh, sorry. It's not my intention to poison the mood. So, Divine One, our objective is to put an end to the ambitions of Sombron's mysterious heir. Since we are fighting to return the emblems to slumber, they will not be able to help us. Knowing this, it is your choice whether or not to join our cause. What say you? Yes. I'll help. <gasps> Splendid! It is such a comfort to have you on our side, isn't it, Nell? After what I saw in that battle, I must agree. But I will remain unsettled by the necessity of fighting alongside this... dead dragon. Oh, I unsettle you, do I? Please, there is no need to quarrel. Why don't the two of you shake hands and agree to be friends from now on? I decline. Then I guess I'll pass too. <laughs> you could at least try to get along. Before we depart the castle, Nell, we should say our farewells. Oh, agreed. I didn't know anyone else was in the castle. Is it a person I know? You are welcome to come find out. But what you see may upset you. Hmm. It looks to be a monument of some kind. This is the resting place of the Divine Dragon, your grave. <laughs> I did warn you. We will be just a moment, Divine One. You can go back if you like. Actually, do you mind if I say something? I'd like to speak to my other self, who lived here with you. I think that would be a lovely gesture. Visiting my own gravestone. Not something I ever thought I'd do. I can see why Nell is unsettled by... this situation. Hmm. 
I promise to fulfill your role and protect those important to you as best I can. And with that, my reflection, goodbye. <laughs> Why can't I turn into a dragon like you and father? There, there. You may someday. I'm a failure. I'm weak. No, Nell. You are strong. Surely you will be able to transform eventually. When? Not even father can say for sure. But until then, hold on to this. Your dragonstone? But you won't be able to transform without it. I can if you carry it for me. And I know you will always be by my side. We are two halves of a whole, Nell. This power is ours to share. <sighs> Our power.